a lot of a lot of the time it's kind of I'm pushed by panic of making a deadline <laughs> so it's not really at a ritual but the circumstances forcing me to seriously hurry up <laughs> so it feels more like a you know transferring at the airport and you know your name is already called and you still have two miles to run <laughs> you don't really do a ritual before running <laughs> those two miles so the, yeah I, I don't really get myself into that mindset there was a one very specific moment when um, I was 14 years old and traveled with my parents to Italy um, and we went to Florence where I got to see um, the Michelangelo's art and uh, seeing that left a huge impression on me and and I thought this is really what I want to be able to do as well <laughs> and I decided in that moment to become an artist. I prefer to, to uh, talk about more general um, human conditions or stuff like that, um, yeah, for, <laughs> for the lack of a better word. And obviously, uh, mm, let's say, my political ideas and, and ethical ideas um, and convictions are do show indirectly obviously in my practice and what I do and uh, how radically or not I'm, I'm approaching a subject. Um, so in a way that's all in there uh, indirectly and, um, and I, I, it can be seen as a role model of like how to go about things but um, I would not really be interested in, in um, talking directly at, about the refugee crisis mm -hmm. as it is now, but obviously I, would, I, I do talk about uh, th things like migration and, and being thrown into a new world, <laughs> a new space, uh, kind of all the time, but yeah. How would it look like to somebody uh, who suddenly is, by coincidence, confronted with it uh, 600 years from now? Um, so, for example, when I worked on my book, Early Endeavors, I thought, um, assuming that in, in this distance of time there will still be something like used book shops or for example like something like that that I like to speak to the person who coincidentally discovers this book in in a huge pile of books that aren't even art books or anything they just ended up somehow in that store and then they look and flip through it and they think oh these what, what, what is that like what are those uh, strange things that people used to do back then 600 years ago and what are these what are these thoughts that they used to have? So, um, so I, I, I like to have that as a thinking model in my mind. Then you make certain decisions of editing and narrating. Yeah, but uh, but of course uh, there is no way to fully su succeed at <laughs> such a such an aim. But you can kind of approach it. That would be the, that. I really dream about food a lot. <laughs> you mean those dreams? Like a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs>